Hi, I'm Luca Masseretti, CFO and co-founder of MyFoodie. We are the company that turns waste into store traffic. What's the worst nightmare for a retailer? No traffic in their store. Just in the first half of 2017, thousands of stores worldwide closed. That's a huge problem, so everybody probably already know it. What you probably don't know is that supermarkets lose up to 3% of their total annual turnover because of the food waste. Doesn't sound a lot. It means uh, about 200 million every year if you own 1,000 supermarkets. And we are not even calculating the related disposal cost. Here at MyFoodie, we solve both the problem with one unique solution. We provide supermarket with a waste management and a trade marketing solution, which consists of a no-waste co-branded area where the about-to-be-wasted products are located and where we communicate the commitment of the chains in reducing food waste. We then leverage these products, usually discounted by 50%, to attract users inside their stores. How does it work? Supermarket operators find this expiring product in their shelf, an activity already included in their logistic process. And thanks to an IT integration done once at the beginning of the partnership, <clears throat> the offers are automatically uploaded on our mobile app, so the users receive the notification and can easily check the deals nearby. They get to the store and they find the offers in the no waste area. And they complete their grocery shopping by purchasing full price items. Then the viability of my foodie product are automatically updated on our mobile app. Simple, isn't it? The benefit for the retailer are just and more than increasing the sales success rate of the expiring product. They decrease the related disposal cost, they can track the store traffic generated by my foodie users, and they can improve their brand awareness, delivering a useful and eco-friendly service to their consumer. The users can get information where the highly discounted products are nearby and they can do a sustainable grocery shopping, saving money at the same time. Our revenue model is based on a monthly flat fee, fee plus a revenue share on the sold offers for, a drive to, for the food waste management system and a drive to store fee for each users that we bring into their stores. We started out from Italy where there are 24,000 food stores but we want to reach the European and American market soon. Why? Because we estimated our market size around 300 million in, uh, in Italy, whereas the European and American markets are almost nine times bigger. We have some competitors that are focused on the waste management, especially in France, where a law forces supermarket to undertake action in order to reduce food waste. Some other are focused on the traffic generation, but we are the only one that by combining both, we deliver a fully automated process with no operational input and a real-time deal. But my foodie is more than just a smart idea. We have a big client, Unicop Tirreno. We started last September in four stores, and we are already activating now 11 more stores. Here you can see a real example of our co-branded area available in one of their stores. But we did more. We got a second client, UNES. We are now active in nine stores, but with the shared goal of reaching 80 stores by the end of this year. Let me share some figure with you after four months in four Unicop Stereo stores. We increase the sales success rate of the expiring product by 73%. We decrease the related disposal management cost by 25%. And we sent more than 2,000 notifications to users within one kilometer, generating more than 800 store visits. 
that stand exactly for a dry to store fee. We are already able to count the number of users that we bring into the store, but we want to own it before asking for money. And our app is so good that it's been awarded by Apple as one of the best in the sustainability segment, among other international players like BlaBlaCar. So, who is next? There are a lot of companies interested in our service, such as Autogrill and Coppa Alianza, and we are already in talks with them in order to reach an agreement. We are the right team, the one that built my fruity from the scratch. Our CEO Francesco deals with the retail top manager. I'm the CFO and Alessandro is the guy that works hard 24-7 on the product development. But we are not alone. We can also count on our wise advisors, people with a huge experience in the related field and with an international background. We ended the pilot phase last September and we started generating recurring revenue. And thanks to the result achieved, our ARR is now increased already seven times. Our plan is to grow as fast as we can. And we are going to introduce the dry to store fee in September and then we go international. As I mentioned, <coughs> we want to grow as fast as we can. We could keep bootstrapping, but that's why we are looking for 650,000 euro to structure the team and the it up marketing. So guys, if you want to make tons of money solving a social and environmental problem, come to our stand. So Luca, <clears throat> excellent, excellent. Um, you, of course, you're focusing, I mean, you're focused now here in Italy, but you're mentioning some pretty ambitious uh, goals in terms of where you would like to go. I mean, you're talking about the, the EU and even the US. Why not focus here and then go there? What's your main reason for moving outside of Italy? Because uh, the decrease in the store traffic and the, the food waste are two issues that affect all the retailers around the world. We know that the biggest clients are in the US and the, in the Europe. And we know also that they are committed to sustainability. In fact, just a few weeks ago, Tesco announced that it will become the first no-waste supermarket. So, they have a need, we have the right technology, already tested probably in one of the hardest, supermar uh, out there, hardest uh, market out there, so we are ready to work with them. Yeah, it is the right test bed for anything, right? So, and how do you protect yourself? What about, you know, entry barriers? Isn't this something that just anyone can do? It's, that's a really good question. We are a first mover and we gained a huge experience in the last couple of years about how to integrate our platform with the large food retailer processes. That's a really sensitive matter for them. My foodie had been tested for one year in one store and we achieved great results. Indeed, our clients are activating now more stores. So, it will take a lot of time to a new competitor to build the right technology to prove it and to gain the credibility that we have among the large food distributors. Excellent. Thank you very much.